What's going on guys? It's your boy JB and welcome to week number 27 of the Chris Sane 100k challenge. As you can see on the screen, it's Saturday, July 3rd. Hope everybody had a phenomenal green week. But before we get into it, you know how we do it. If you want to help yourself out to two free stocks, click the link down below in the description and sign up for Webolt today. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into my tracker. All right guys, here we are inside my tracker. Um, a lot of activity this week. As you can see on the screen right now, so APXT actually, the, um, the merger went through and that's where you see AVPT, where it says NA right here on this line. Uh, so um, I can't really show you my, my gains and losses on this tracker with APXT, uh, but we'll go through that here in a second when we dive in my app as usual. But um, what I ended up doing this week, so I sold Airbnb, my trailing stop loss kicked me out of it. I took $10 profit. Um, but again, guys, I told you before, I'm just trying to consolidate all my plays and then I want to say five plays at least by end of September. Um, so yeah, sold Airbnb. I bought more future FinTech. I bought more Genoc. I bought more Tattoo Chef. And then I also bought, um, yeah, more AVPT. Um, so going to the transactions tab, as you can see, so um, I was averaging down. So on the 28th, I bought more, and then it went up five more cents. I went ahead and grabbed 20 of them. And then Tattoo Chef, got it at 20, just 10 shares of that. Future FinTech, I bought in at 329, 50 of those um, on the 28th. And then on the 30th, I averaged down just a little bit more, bought 50, um, AVPT, I bought uh, 20 shares of that on the 30th at 1223 and then Airbnb like I just said I just sold that um, at 149.94 on the 30th also so um, I had some extra cash laying around because I sold this so I just decided to go ahead and like build out more of my plays future fintech and uh, Gnog with the extra dough so um, options I did not get into any options this week uh, deposits it should be at zero and this date should be changed seven three go so currently right now, I've only still deposited 72.50 in this challenge. And um, with that being said, let's go and dive into my app. All right, guys, for the week, I was down about 2%, so down about 179.58. Hence the reason why I'm under 11K now. And let's see, for the past three months, been down past month, been really down. I'm still trying to dig myself out of that correction, trying to get flat at least, but um, struggle is real for sure. So at least Airbnb, was I was able to do that, and um, it looks like Neo had a great week too, but we'll dive into that here in a second. Let's go ahead and start at AVPT. Let's see, for the week, Let's see, um, it's about flat, 15 cents. Uh, so, but total return, I'm still down about 17%. Future FinTech. Future FinTech, I'm about flat. Uh, I'm down 25.99%, so 26%. Tattoo Chef. For the week, still about flat. Total return, 50%, so it's climbing up slowly but surely. For the month, and then for three months. And then, Gnog. For the week, down almost 8%, so 
Total return is still down 24%. Coinbase, I'm not gonna even touch that. Neo. Neo had a great week this week, almost up 10% for the month, up 21%. Three month period, up 20, almost 24%. Uh, so for this challenge, I'm up 35% uh, total return with Neo. So at least that was looking good so far. And then still have Workhorse, which is still getting beat down. That was down a little bit over 8% this week. Hylion, down a little bit over 10%. Still down 36%. Then, have Apple. Apple for the week did pretty good, almost 5%. So I'm a little bit over 10% on this play. And then my other two plays that aren't part of this challenge, but I'll share anyway. Chris with equity, up 77%. Then innovative industrial properties. I'm up almost 450 on this one, so. Just to show you guys my my account to show you I didn't deposit any cash. So guys, as you can see, I initiated on the 25th, but it actually got deposited on the 28th. So that's why you might see, well, you might say that oh, I thought you only put in $500 last week, not this week. So I started the, on the 25th, as you can see, but I actually landed in my account um, on the 28th. But you're able to still buy stock um, because of the instant um, deposit that I have on my account. So just FYI, so that's the reason why I see 500 here and zero here. So just giving you guys a heads up. But anyway guys, that's all I have for the video. If you made this far in the video, give your boy the thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and notification bell while you're at it, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.